Imagine a bug so terrifying that it drinks the insides of insects and animals alike, can paralyze a victim in under a second, and can camouflage itself using the remains of other insects and animals which it's previously eaten. Such a bug does exist, and that would be the assassin bug, and it does a lot to live up to its name. While the assassin bug is the stuff of nightmares, it's an even worse reality for the 8,000 human victims that die every single year related to assassin bug attacks on humans. The assassin bug is nicknamed the kissing bug, but its kiss is far from that of a sweet lover. It is nicknamed the kissing bug because of a long syringe-like mouth that it uses to inject deadly saliva into the victims and the same long mouth is used to suck out the insides of its victims. The kissing bug typically hunts other insects, but it can hunt small animals. It is extremely effective at hunting and it is terrifying as a result. We humans won't die directly from a bite, but the assassin bug is considered a disease vector species, meaning that while the painful bite won't kill you, it's very likely that their bites will transmit deadly diseases to you that will kill you. If you are bit by a kissing bug or assassin bug, it is advised that you seek out medical treatment immediately to reduce any complications of the diseases that may be passed to you. We weren't able to find any records ourselves of deaths directly related to the deadly saliva being injected into humans, but considering that it literally disintegrates and turns into a soup its victims, we can imagine it can be quite painful. So how does the assassin bug actually go about hunting? Well, like a trained warrior, it shows no mercy for its victims. When the assassin bug has identified a victim, it will suddenly grab onto the victim as quickly as possible and hold it so tight that the victim has no chance of escaping. It will then use its long syringe-like mouth to inject the bug with the toxic saliva. This saliva will quickly put the bug to sleep. Within a few seconds, the small bug or even larger insect such as a cockroach will be unable to move or resist what happens next. Note that also the assassin bug can hunt small animals as well. In fact, when some assassin bugs are born, they literally specifically hunt vertebrates because they want and or need animal blood in order to grow up. Small animals of course would take a bit longer to paralyze, but the end result is the same. When injected, given enough time, they will be totally unable to resist what happens next. What happens next is that the assassin bug's saliva first after paralyzing the victim, will then start to disintegrate the victim's insides, turning it into a soupy-like substance. While waiting for this process to happen, the assassin bug will clench onto the victim very tightly as to not let it get away or give it up to any other predators. Once the creature's insides are turned into a soup, the assassin bug will then use the same needle-like mouth to drink the insides. This leaves the hollow outer shell of the insect left with nothing inside of it. An estimated 99% of a creature's body can be eaten by the kissing bug. However, this is up for debate and it might actually be quite less. Now the assassin bug doesn't stop there. It is a trained warrior and it knows what it must do next. After sucking up the insides of its victim and ensuring that it is fully dead, the assassin bug will then put the dead insect on its back or use it for camouflage in some other way. This serves both as protection as well as camouflage for hunting. Some have even suggested that they use it for trophies, for example, for mating purposes. For example, they've been observed cutting off the heads of ants and wearing them as trophies. It helps them hunt because they can hide their scent, or they can use the dead body to draw out other insects that might want to eat it or move it away. It serves for protection as well. For example, if a gecko were stalking the assassin bug and it wanted to snatch it, the, the gecko might snatch the dead carcass of an ant or insect on its back instead of the actual assassin bug, thus giving the assassin bug a chance to escape. We humans must be careful while studying the assassin bug, again because larger specimens have incredibly painful bites as it can turn your insides also into a liquidy soup which the assassin bug would then be eating. The assassin bug can also be found in the United States of America. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed, and if you did, make sure to subscribe for more weekly content every single Friday. If you think that you have a wildlife or pest related problem inside of your home, don't put you, your home, or your family at risk. Contact us immediately by calling 855-WILDLIFE or by visiting wildlifexteam.com so we, the experts, can handle this problem for you as well as restore any damage that they may have caused and then prevent this from ever happening in the future. Thank you so much and we'll see you next week. Bye. Having trouble with wildlife in your home or office? Wildlife X Team is your solution to get rid of the raccoons, bats, rats, and snakes. Having a professional team, we offer both residential and commercial animal removal methods by using innovative and integrated techniques. Our services include animal trapping, dead animal removal, nuisance wild animal control, and animal capture. What are you waiting for? To get 24-7 service, call us at 855-WILDLIFE for an affordable solution for your nuisance wildlife issues.